What's up friends and welcome to Freelancing with Chris of Emery. I'm Chris of Emery and today we are going to look at an easy way to get that old school wiggly type animation that's being used in animations every now and then. But first, just a quick reminder that if you want to support this channel there are info on ways to do that in the description. For example, a channel membership gives you access to all the past animation streams among other things. Any support is much appreciated and with that out of the way, let's go! The reasons to use the wiggly style on your animation might be many, I occasionally use it myself. For example when I want some type of visual stamp on my creation, like an old school vibe. But my number one reason is actually to bring an illusion that the animation is busier than it actually is. And why would I want that? Well, for example, if you are a lone wolf animator like me and want a fast paced animation with fast cuts and a lot happening at the same time. It might be really hard to keep up with the powerhouse animation studio that have the resources to keep the scenes heavily animated. With small tricks like this one, you help tricking the brain just a little bit that even in a scene where nothing is really moving, it's still very much alive. So let's get straight into After Effects. We're going to create an adjustment layer that will affect all layers below. So it doesn't matter if your animation is created within After Effects or if you have imported work from another software such as Character Animator, Toon Boom or Animate. In my case, I have a PNG sequence imported into my composition. I can just for the sake of explaining add a little text on top of it to show how it works on everything below in the layer structure. So let's add an adjustment layer by going up to Layer new adjustment layer we go over to effects and write turbulent looking for an effect called turbulent displace there it is add it to your adjustment layer and if we drag evolution now we can just see the amount of displace and uh, there might be a place in time for this for example i don't know if you're going for a like below water type feel or something but we want that more subtle wiggly style so let's decrease the amount and size to something like mm, let's try 14 you can always play around with those to try and get the right feel for your animation dragging the evolution now a little bit just to see and uh, yeah let's let's go with this what we want to do now is to create a couple of keyframes on the evolution stopwatch that we want to cycle between I hit the stopwatch on the first frame and it does not matter where on evolution we are really. Move forward two frames and drag evolution, we automatically get a new keyframe. Move forward two frames again and drag evolution and then repeat for a couple of frames. So why not just use two frames for this? Well, that would essentially mean that we would cycle between two different wiggle positions and that might look a little bit too repetitive. I just went with 6 frames now, perhaps that's a little bit overkill but uh, whatever. So what happens if we hit replay, we got some sort of wiggle vibe, but there's a problem in that it animates between our frames instead of just jumping between the keyframes. Uh, we solve that by selecting our keyframes, right click, select toggle hold keyframe, and there it is. Our only issue now is that it does not really loop if I extend my work area like this. You see it only works during the keyframes. But it's easily fixed by creating a loop. Select all keyframes again. Alt click on the evolution stopwatch. Select this field and write loop out cycle the way I wrote it here. And now it's endlessly looping the keyframes just like we wanted. And our adjustment layer is affecting all layers below it. If we don't want the wiggle to apply on the text, we can just place the text above the adjustment layer in the layer structure. And that's all for now friends. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. 
Stay creative and see you next time.